What's good, y'all? We're back with another power rankings list. Today we have Bleacher Reports Week Seven. Uh, I'm thinking about doing ESPNs too, but I probably not. It just depends on how long this video goes, so we'll see. But yeah, man. So I'm just check out Bleacher Reports starting off. Uh, good week of football. Very competitive week. I haven't checked the power rankings in two weeks, so I'm gonna check them this week and see see what it's looking like. Hmm. Says so six weeks into the to this 2021 season, division races are starting to take shape. The league's cream is riding to the top. I said that too because it's a lot of teams that we saw play this week that had similar records, but show how different they were. So uh, it's a lot of teams separating themselves uh, in terms of. Like they say, Korean rising to the top, you know, top tier, upper echelon versus, you know, how competitive they really are. Uh, and the Detritus what the heck, is sinking. That may be Detroit's new nickname. I don't get this. So, y'all elaborate for me. Uh, yeah. Three of the league's eight division races look like they meet maybe all but over by Thanksgiving. The Green Bay Packers, NFC North. That's pretty normal. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, NFC South. Yeah, the Saints not as competitive. Panthers not as competitive as we thought they were. Um, who else is in the South? Falcons. Oh, yeah, Falcons. Yeah, never mind. And the Buffalo Bills, AFC East, have all built sizable leads and took the clear number one team in their division. And I feel like that's extremely reasonable. Meanwhile, some teams labeled contenders before the season are floundering. After getting drilled at home by the undefeated Cardinals, their injury rack, Cleveland Browns have major problems. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't want to put too much on the Browns. I feel like they're a good team, but it's, it's injuries. Uh, and it's just, I don't know. I, I feel like offensive play calling as well. It's like everything just looks the same from last year. They're good. They're a very good team, but offensively, everything looks the same. I like the uh, emergence of uh, Donovan Peoples Jones. He's playing really good, but I, I could have seen that coming last year, and I already had good depth at receiver last year. It's just using it. And, uh, Jarvis Landry, he was pretty good too. But I mean, with him being out, I would assume that they figure out a way to get Odell more involved. I'm not sure if they felt like he didn't put the work in or if um, they just feel it's not necessary to implement him into the offense. I don't know. I mean, obviously they're a heavy run team, but they got to figure something out. Like I said, the play calling looked very much like it did last year. Um, those issues are nothing compared to what's going on in Washington, where supposedly stout defense can stop a MAC team right now. A MAC team? What, uh, what does he mean by that? With another week of NFL action complete, they, they just played the Chiefs. Uh, Y'all elaborate that for me, please. With another week of NFL action complete, Bleacher Report analysis, Gary Davenport, Brad Gain, and Brent Sobleski have gathered, gathered again to rank the league's teams from worst to first. After a last second victory in London, for the first time in a long time, we won't be starting this week's power rankings with the Jacksonville Jaguars. So we got Lions at 32. Uh, reasonable. 0-6. Um, I'm assuming the Texans going to be next. But uh, uh, it's a lot for them to figure out. Uh, last week, lost to Cincinnati. Got blown out. Lions head coach Dan Campbell was left in tears by a gut-wrenching loss. Last, oh yeah, that was two weeks ago. Um, I don't know, man. It's... They've been bad for a long time. So, I mean, if they keep changing coaches and now they change quarterbacks, it's uh, I, I just feel like it's the front office. Uh, I feel like, you know, either it's coaches, players, or front office, you know. And it's the NFL. There's plenty of talent there. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, just got to see how it plays out, man. I really don't know. Uh, once it, I, I said by next season, I feel like we can come to some type of con conclusion. If they keep everything the same and just add on to this and it's still not that good, then, yeah. But as a Lion fan, y'all let me know. Um, let's see. Texans at 31, obviously. Yeah, you're being blown out, man. Uh, I really don't even know what to say. I feel like this was a competitive team coming into the season. First few games, that was extremely competitive. Um, and then it's just like once Terod Taylor went down, it was just down from there. Uh, I think even Davis Mills' first game starting, we were competitive. 
it's just uh i i don't know man i mean obviously we're just not nowhere near to uh, com- competitive to them top tier teams uh getting blown out back to back and then we're playing the cardinals next so that's not that's gonna be terrible um yeah we probably in a in a definitely in the quarterback race jaguars marvin jones got permanent uh it looked like it i don't look like pullouts i could be wrong though but uh jaguars at 30 got their first win uh one versus miami uh hey man congrats to them snapped a extremely long losing streak Seem like they do pretty pretty well in London. It says thanks to 319 passing yards from Trevor Lawrence, 101 total yards from running back James Robinson, and 100 receiving yard effort from Marvin Jones. I ain't gonna lie, they might have to just spam Marvin Jones, bro. I think they should ask some more receivers, but like, go ahead, and make him make him the number one guy, running through him, have the run game going through through James Robinson. Marvin is the vet. Just give it to him. I feel like they target Lavisca more than him, and. I feel like Levis could probably be more talented right now. Definitely being a younger receiver. But Marvin, he, he nice, bro. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe I'm not watching closely enough. Y'all let me know. Jaguars would now have a bye week to bask in the glow of victory. But this wasn't a win to replete with style points. Jacksonville was outgained offensively 431 to 369. Converted just 3 of 12 third downs and allowed 9 third downs. That is, oh my gosh, on 17 attempts. Mm. But in the only statistical category that really matters, the Jaguars came out on top. When you haven't won a game in 400 days, you take a W anyway. You can get it. Agreed. Got the Jets at 29. I don't really got too much to say about them. Uh, I don't know. I got to figure something out, bro. Uh, like Zach Wilson, nice quarterback. It was the same thing with Sam, bro. I didn't think Sam was trash. It was it was the exact same thing. It's like could be front office with them. It's like the Lions. It's like you change players. You keep changing players. You keep changing coaches. Is it them or is it front office? Yeah, I don't know. As Jets fans, y'all got to let me know. Um, Giants, 28. Low-key, the same thing. Giants been bad for a while. Even when, when they had Eli Manning, they got into the playoffs with a mediocre record. So, I mean, I don't know. Like When, we, when have the Giants had a win? When's the last time they had a winning record? Uh, Lost versus the Rams. That was a pretty uh, solid win for the Rams. Um, just they, I feel like they won all over the board. Um, Loki, yeah, I feel like I don't know. I, I feel like could be coaching with them. They play calling could be a lot better. Uh, obviously injuries didn't help them. Uh, y'all let me know when Saquon is supposed to be coming back. Twenty seven. We have Washington. They have two and four right now. Lost to Kansas City. Pretty much a, a blowout in a sense. Um. It says there have there have been plenty of players, teams, and units that have failed to meet expectations over the first six weeks of the twenty twenty one season. They're not trash, but they just not it, you know. But there might may not be a bigger disappointment in the entire NFL to date this season than Washington defense. I can't say that because it was questions around Washington secondary. There was a lot of questions around the secondary. The front seven we knew or we felt would be extremely good, but the secondary, you know, wasn't. Well, that wasn't anything guaranteed, you know. So, if one is good and one is bad, they still work together as a unit. So, I can't really say that was just extremely disappointing, in my opinion. See, spearheaded by a line stocked with first round picks, uh, has been downright terrible. Giving up, uh, has surrendered 423 yards per game. The team has allowed over 30 points in five straight games. Oh, that is terrible. But I mean, it come out, yeah, it come out to them as a unit, bro. It's not just, and then that, that goes to offensive uh, opportunities too. I think they could use another veteran wide receiver, um, another veteran tight end, um, more vets, man, just in general on that offense to surround Taylor Heineke with. You know, it's it's some really good free agents out there. That's just you know talent being wasted, man. Years being wasted. I think they can add more uh defense i don't really know too much about it, if there's any dbs out there but i know i know it's a lot of good offensive players still out there bottom line is we have plenty of looks that we represent plenty of personnel packages that we have re- presented plenty of calls that we presented it's all about execution and we haven't executed at a high enough level uh i feel like that that could be a reasonable excuse in my opinion um 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice team. I feel like uh, Taylor, like I said, Taylor Heineke hasn't played too bad. Uh, it's just as a unit, they're just not clicking. Atlanta Falcons at twenty six. They got some talent. I like them offensively. It's defensively, it's been like that for the past few years. I just, uh, uh, uh they gotta, they gotta get it figured out. Uh, a lot of bright spots on offense though. The Dolphins at twenty five. Tua just coming back wasn't really much help. Not saying he wasn't much help, but it just it didn't make too much of a difference. Uh, took it ill. Jaguars very competitive. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't really got too much to say. Glory said I'm not doing a good enough job. Not playing consistently enough. Not coaching well enough. Not playing well enough. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Mm-hmm. That was a team I, I expected to be a playoff team. They had a really good season last year. It seemed like they added players, but it's like as far as uh, changing anything offensively or scheme wise, I don't really see too much. A lot, a huge difference. I don't know. Y'all let me know. But a lot looks the same, but you know, the team looks different player wise, but a lot looks the same. That's how everything's ran. Philadelphia Eagles are 24. Loss versus Tampa Bay. Eagles are a hot mess. Oh, yeah. Tampa Bay had, had, them, had them down and they, they came back towards the end. Jalen Hurts was terrible against the Buccaneers, completing just 12 or 26 passes. They had, yeah, oh, yeah, they had them locked down. Run game and pass game. Nick Sirianni is making a very compelling case for the title's NFL worst head coach. The offensive play calling is just horrendous. Sir- Sirianni completely forgot Miles Sanders was on the team until the final quarter, and all he seems to want to run are RPOs and bubble screens. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Colts at 23 going up the boards for one versus Houston good win for them uh, I mean I feel like they heading towards next year personally but I mean it's a lot of competitive players on this team it's a nice team they're just gonna have to figure something out I don't know they're gonna be a no man's land in the sense it's gonna be kinda in the middle we'll see see how everything turns out Vikings uh, honestly I feel like a potential playoff team we'll see but uh Offensively, they can hang with, I feel like, some of the best teams. Defensively, they just got to cut it on. But uh, they, they, um, it's a lot of potential there. It's just they need consistency. And the Vikes face a brutal four game gauntlet. Dallas at Baltimore at the Chargers at Green Bay when the team returns to action in two weeks. There's a lot of, they got a lot of competitive games coming up. The Bears, I would take the Vikings over the Bears right now. Bears, I mean, that, that performance this past week was not it. Offensively, they barely made it out of the game last week. Uh, defense been carrying them. Uh, like they not they are not bad, but just they not. I feel like offensive play calling is an issue for them too, in my opinion. Khalil Herbert who totaled 112 total yards on the you know, score, 21 touches. Justin Fields has a way to go in his development. I feel like they could, I don't know. I feel like they could be a little better offensively. Seahawks at 20. Man, and they started the year pretty pretty good, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Gino played well. I, I can't put too much on it. You know, I just see how the rest of the season starts. I mean, the rest of the season goes for them. Uh, three of the team's next four games are against squads with winning records. I think, they, I think they'll compete. They play, they play pretty well against the Steelers with the OT. I uh, just got to, you know, be smart, be safe. Uh... Make better decisions. San Francisco 49ers. Mm. It's not a bad position for them. They still competitive. Curious uh, what they're going to do with the quarterback position. If they're going to just keep Jimmy G. I think when you look at the quarterback situation, you know where you're going to get out of Jimmy. He has the understanding of the offense. Yeah, it seemed like, personally, I ain't gonna, I said that too in some of the reaction videos that uh, the play calling, play calling just seemed a lot better with, uh, with Garoppolo. With 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 um with Trey Lance, I don't know. I don't know if it was him, but it, it to me it looked like the play calling was, was just better with with Garoppolo there. Um, Denver at eighteen lost the lost three in a row. Remember when the Broncos were three and zero? Yeah, it's getting harder to do. Last game lost versus Vegas, thirty four twenty four. 
Um, I don't know. I mean, it's a nice team. They just got to get it figured out. Uh, like, literally, in my opinion, one of the most talented rosters in the league. Um, I mean, front seven, they got some good players there. But that's probably, like, the most shaky part of the team. But uh, they got a nice receiving core. Uh, I think Jerry Judy come back soon. We'll see. But nice receiving core, nice running back set. Uh, I don't think the O line is too bad. Uh, mm, I, I don't. I don't think it's too much negative about them that I can say right now. But they're just not getting it done at all. Uh, let's see. Moving forward, Panthers at seventeen. Same thing with the Panthers. I think what well, they were at three and zero at one point two, and now zero and three. Um, good team defensively, offensively too. Uh, I feel like they got a nice offense. It's just literally they're in the same boat as the as the uh, Broncos. Just, mm -hmm. uh, I really, I really can't, just, I can't pinpoint it honestly. The Patriots, they put the Patriots ahead of both of them. That's kind of confusing. Um, two and four, loss versus Dallas, thirty five twenty nine. That was a good game. That was a really good game. Man, I ain't gonna lie, Mac Jones, Mac Jones looking nice, bro. Um. I say they should have kept Cam, and I think they would have had a, a winning record right now if Cam was there, rallying behind another veteran, veteran QB, someone who you know been there before. But I think you know with Mac, it's like either we keep the system here for Cam for a short period of time, and you know run all of these plays for a mobile QB, or we switch over to Mac and just keep a, keep the same system that we've been doing for the past twenty plus years. We tried to stay with Cam for one year, uh, and you know. We like what we got personnel wise. They got a good squad, but uh, I feel like you know Mac 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 is solid. He only gonna grow from here, you know. In general, this is, it's gonna be a, I think a growing season for him. But uh, it kind of sucks because I feel like they had an. I feel like the, the Patriots got a pretty nice roster, but we gonna, we gonna see how everything play out. Raiders at fifteen, they are four and two. Um, I think they lead the division. Are they not? Could be mistaken. No, 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 no. Chiefs were four and two as well, huh? Um, y'all let me know. I can't. I can't remember. Uh, it has been quite the tumultuous, tumultuous stretch for the Las Vegas Raiders after winning three in a row to start the season. Mm, so we're one and two at this point. Not too bad. Um, that was a good win over Denver. Uh, hey. It was an impressive effort when they got Gagnon's attention. What was the new head coach called? What was his name? Head coach John Gruden res resigned. Team rally behind interim head coach Rich Bissassi. I don't know how to say, I don't know how to pronounce that. Y'all let me know. So what did he? What position did he coach prior to being interim? But I mean, good performance by them overall. Um, they did their thing. Uh, lots to look forward to down the season. They just need consistency. That's it, man. Still is at 14. Uh, good win for them. If Russ would have played, would have been more competitive. But Geno Smith did not play bad at all. Uh, they still got a lot of. They still got a lot to improve on, bro. And I, I honestly, I think it's just offensive play calling, and maybe adding more weapons, adding more depth at receiver. Uh, but play calling definitely. I don't know. They could steal some plays from other teams. Like I've been seeing it all season, so. Maybe it'll help. The Browns at 13. Uh, three and three. A lot of injuries here. I think what they put a uh, Kareem Hunt on IR, Chubb is out. Mayfield was already playing with a partially torn labrum. Oh my gosh. He dislocated that same shoulder in the loss. Oh my gosh. That, this season is not going good for them at all. Um, mm hmm. We gonna see how it play out. There, I mean, it's gonna be a lot of running uh, next week. That's all I could assume. Uh, they started off pretty good. Look, they still a competitive team. If everybody was, if everybody was healthy on this team, and I said that before the season too. Uh, this, this is one of the best teams in the in the league. Healthy, you know, just like how we seeing everything clicking for the Cardinals. All, all these off season additions, everything clicking. I feel like uh, they could be like that too if everybody was healthy. But also, I feel like you know, play calling could be a little, you know, something here could be a a plus you got the saints ahead of the browns it's kind of surprising for me there's been no shortage of things i'll say i had a bye week this past week um so i ain't gonna read too much into it gotta see it see as the season plays out um i'm not sure who they play this week i can't remember but 
Yeah, man. We're going to see. Titans at 11, uh, 4 and 2. Looking good. Looking a lot better than I expected. Defensively, uh, offensively, you know, I feel like that's expected for them to do well this season. Uh, with AJ Brown and Julio Jones and Derrick Henry, Tannehill does work. They play calling is simple, but everything works. Um, but like I said, they're doing a lot better than I expected uh, this season. Being four and two. Uh, granted, the Titans entered the game at three and two, first place in the AFC South. This was a team that lost to the Jets. The defense was bad. The offense was one dimensional. Of course, when that one dimension is Derrick Henry, that's not so bad. Indeed, indeed. Titans also could could easily have lost this game. Sean McDermott's decision to go for it on fourth and inches with less than a minute left rather than the kick, a chip shot field goal to force overtime, handed the contest to Tennessee. That did not click in my head when I was watching it for some strange reason, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Um, it didn't click that they could have just kicked the field goal um, at all. So... I like the call to go for it, though. I liked it a lot. But, hey, you win something, you lose something. Man. That was his choice. Uh, it just didn't work out. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, but good stop by the Titans. Uh, he's got to keep it going. Bengals are 4-2. and two, Very surprising to see and say. Jamar Chase is looking like the best pick for them. Um, looking like they just a clicking, bro. Like, the chemistry just translated from college to the NFL. So smooth. Um... Ain't got too much to say. You got is same thing. Consistency. That's 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 the key. It's a lot of teams who's been consistent these past few years, getting to the playoffs repeatedly. If they want to hang, that's that's what they have to do. A good. It's a good thing that they're in such a competitive division. So it's trial and error there. And good thing they in the division with the Ravens. Uh, Chargers at number nine, also four and two. They just lost to Baltimore terribly, a thirty-four to six. That was a humbling loss. I ain't gonna lie, bro. But uh, hey. It's so something to bounce back from, something to learn from. If this stuff happens, you know. Teams will lose this bad in the regular season and then meet a team in the playoffs and blow them out. Just meet the same team. So I ain't gonna put too much on it, but uh, they just is like back to the drawing board, you know. So this would be a I think it'd be better for them, you know. It's just, it's all, it all depends on the uh, the mindset and the outlook, you know. It's gonna be good for them in the future. Uh, Chargers will have two weeks to think about what went wrong and rest injured players like wide receiver Mike Williams and linebacker Drew Tranquil ahead of a Halloween matchup with the Patriots. That's going to be a good game. Patriots versus Chargers. Kansas City Chiefs at 3-3, three and three, so they're 3-3, three and three, okay? Beat Washington. Um, in some respects, it was running back Daryl Williams scored. I ain't gonna lie, um, I like Daryl's run style and his offense. Like, I feel like with Clyde, he's a shifty back, a big receiving back. But I think they need a guy who's just going to go north and south. Clyde is a east, west, north, south type of back. You know, he do a little bit of everything. And I, he does definitely runs hard. But I don't know. I don't know. I like I like what I don't know. I feel like I like what Daryl brought. Um, I don't know. I think they need that right now just with. Mm, I just feel like the offense is missing something. They nice, obviously. Uh, beat be Washington 31 13. They wasn't missing too much. And offense normally isn't the issue for them, but I feel like this is something that it, that could be improved there. Um, I don't know. Defensively, obviously, it's been an issue, but wasn't versus Washington. So, uh, mm, three and three, you, you never know. They could all, it's, it's the Chiefs, bro. They could rally and win, win the rest of the games. You know, Pat Mahomes, Andy Reid, company. Um, you never know. Uh, Green Bay Packers at seven, uh, five and one. Okay, surprisingly, they actually. When I looked at the stats earlier, they're not top tier when it comes to um passing stats, but they're five and one, and you would think that they are with Aaron Rodgers being the quarterback. But it's been a balanced attack with Aaron Jones, AJ Dillon in the passing game. A uh, good thing they picked up Randall Cobb. Very good thing, man. Uh, as with each success, which each success of week, the Green Bay Packers put their blowout loss to the New Orleans Saints. Oh, that was in week one. Wow. So they haven't lost the game since week one. Why did they just click in my head? Um, They've been doing good, man. I'm not sure defensively it's not coming to mind how, the, how well they've been doing, but hey, I know that five games in a row. Cowboys, another team, five games in a row. 
and six. I can't argue with this. I ain't gonna lie. They uh, lucky for like they should be a little higher, but the other teams not coming to mind. So we are gonna see as I continue to scroll down. B New England OT really good game. Offense clicking, defense nice. Uh, it they could do they could be better definitely, but it's a lot of nice players. I, I see this team if not this year next year being a, a legit contender. Just keep the players that they got and just build on to it or you know something. I like I like what they did in the draft. The spam defense, you know, and uh, address that need in the past few years. Um, Dak looking good. Uh, what is it? Team is in my room. Uh, Dak injured his calf. Prescott was in a walking boot after the game, but told reported he expects to be fine. Okay, I, I didn't even know that. Okay, Baltimore Ravens are five and one. Uh, one versus Los Angeles, looking really good. Uh, did not. I, I really didn't know what to expect. I think I picked the Ravens, but I don't know what to. I don't know what I expected going into this game. But uh, playing against the Chargers offense that dropped 47 points on the Browns a week ago, Ravens were absolutely dominant defensively. And that's how it is, bro. Some teams just match up better with other teams, and that's just what it is. Some teams just ma they have the personnel to match up better. They got the schemes to match up better, and they shut them down. So if these teams, if these two teams match up in a postseason it possibly could be the same thing you never know but uh yeah, i think they just matched up with them really well offensively the ravens were a juggernaut on the ground racking up 187 yards from 38 attempts three different ravens back scored touchdowns uh, oh they play the Bengals next that's gonna be interesting okay bills at four I don't have a record. It was, I think, the four and two. What? So they put the, I would put the Ravens ahead of the Bills right now, right? Or am I wrong? Y'all let me know. Um, Lost at Tennessee. Uh, Buffalo Bills head coach, Sean McDermott. Decision to rescue. Who did the Ravens lose to? I can't remember who they only lost was to. Was it the Bills? They beat the Chiefs. I can't remember honestly. Uh, Bills lost because they had no answer for Derrick Henry, and that's another thing too. Like Derrick Henry, bro, it's like if you got the defense for him or you don't, and that's just what it is. You got, you can't really slow him down. You can't really stop him. It's just either you got it or you don't, and then you gotta just you gotta have an offense to keep up with them, and that's what they did. They had the offense. It's just it came down to one play, unfortunately, that you know lost them the game. But uh, it's reasonable. It's reasonable. The Bucks five and one. So okay, I know who the next two teams are. Uh, this is reasonable because both of these two teams technically, technically, are better as of right now. But I ain't got too much to say. Uh, previous Super Bowl champs, you know, I ain't gonna say too much. Especially with running back Leonard Fournette on a hot streak these past couple games. Uh, the defense continues to be ravaged by injuries with Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman got hurt. What? Wow. Wow. Uh, Rams at two. Beat the Bucks, obviously. And then the number one team beat the Rams. So Cardinals, 6-0. and Best team in the league right now. Got to give it to them. Uh, ain't got too much to say about these two. Uh, NFC is going to have some competitive matchups later in the season and in the playoffs. I'm looking forward to their playoff race. The AFC kind of looking a little lackluster right now, but we'll see as things continue to progress. It's a lot of questions, but uh, they 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 looking nice right now in the NFC. Um, yeah, I don't got too much else to say. I'm gonna end it there. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. You done messed up. I don't care if you knew Patrick Mahomes. Them lies you telling won't get past me. If it's meant to be, I'm not gonna ask for a second chance. I'm only gonna ask you once after that, then it's out my hands. I'm not gonna question, just accept it, part of God's plan.